Hey, it's Cole here. If you don't know, it's time for some more of the long run. And last time we finished Lufia 2, The Rise of the Sinistrals. Um, but there's still something that I want to do. So I did a duplicate of our last save here. And the first thing that I want to show is this. Retry mode. And what retry mode is, is basically your new game plus, except that I think you gain like four times the experience or something like that. Like you gain substantially more experience. So you can play through the entire game again. And uh, just kind of breeze through and get all the secrets and things like that. We're not going to be doing retry mode here. Um, as a note, if you beat retry mode, then you get a third mode called gift mode, which puts you exactly where we're going next. So here we are back at Grubrick, which of course means only one thing, we're going back to the engine cave. And this time, I mean it. Yep, it's still the same deal. Blah 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 blah, yep, 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 yep. I know it's thank you. Alright, and uh, something that I didn't know, actually, is um, any chest that you, like, any blue chest that you've opened up in previous runs, you will start with that stuff. So we're starting with the diamond axe and these two jewels. Flame jewel. No, give you the wind jewel. Give you the flame jewel. Alright. So, as a note, we're not going to be finishing the ancient gate tonight. Um, when we get to the natural end of stream time, I'm going to be putting down the save state. Um, and this is a save state that I've only allowed to load next time we start. I'm not allowed to save scum. And uh, we're gonna give this... Basically, I'm only allowed to restart today. Uh, if we wipe... Uh, if we wipe on the next stream, then that's it. Um, if it happens like halfway through the stream, we'll just switch to something else for the rest of the stream. Hey, Donut, how you doing? Alright, well, let's get started. I also learned that it is a good idea to hit the, uh, the bushes. Because if there is a full heal, Somewhere on the floor, it is going to be underneath a bush. Found a frying pan, which in this game's sexist manner means that only someone can equip it. Bushes with hidden heels have a different sprite. Um, I'm not sure on that, but uh, I mean, I'll take your word for it, but also, I don't know what I'm looking for. An early buck kill. Hit for six. Hit for 354. One of these things is not like the other.
Um, actually, I'm going to do something real quick here. Just so we can breeze through that a little easier. Um, controllers. Auto fire controls. I'm going to assign um, ZR to auto fire A. So that we can just kind of, once we get control here. Just do that. Save ourselves a little time. And also uh, breeze through the uh, the results screen. Oh. Sorry. Noom. I mean, it was an early fight, and you didn't exactly miss it. for auto press, I don't know. Next fight, we'll give it a try. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, like that there's a there's a repeat delay, but uh You played a lot of this one-handed. What'd you do with the other hand, Zero? Played another game. Ah yes, the Nintendo Dual Blade. I'm still gonna use the uh, the auto fire button. It's 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 a little faster. But yeah, I um I think I mentioned this before. Like I did do a um what I call the non-canonical run of, um, of Ancient Cave. Like, I wasn't going to save win or lose. Um, at one point, unfortunately, like, I stopped paying enough attention. I got a little overconfident, and uh, I'm sure that has killed many of It certainly killed mine. Yeah, there, there are two strategies, I think, as far as, um, As far as clearing the ancient cave, and I'm going to be doing the most sane one. Uh, changing it. That's it. Go. Hopefully, it doesn't take us too long to get a heal spell. Just 
pops us out here. Is there anything like deeper into the room or is that it? You know, that was it. First left over. Good to have that early. And like does the curse lifter like straight up remove the curse from an item or just allow you to remove the cursed item? Jensen got a good job there. Another frying pan. Probably not gonna have a whole lot to talk about during this, so like... this floor. I, I do feel like with the uh, with the L button, they did have one-handed gaming in mind, at least for this.
One thing I'm wondering, does the L button allow to open chests? Yes. But really, you just... You just would need uh, to use the, uh, the face buttons when you're equipping things. Or if you're slashing uh, bushes. See, that, that's why you use this specific capsule monster in Ancient Cave. I was like, you start with no spells. You, you gotta... You gotta have some way to go. Dual blade for a closer shape. Hey, Tyrion. Sorry to say you missed the end of the game, but uh, we're doing the Ancient Cave for realsies this time. And we're not finishing tonight, suffice it to say, like it probably, probably doesn't even need to be said. The ancient cave is 100 floors, it's gonna take a while. Wherever we're at, when we hit our usual stop time, uh, I'm gonna put down a save state and pick up next time. I'm also only allowed to restart a run today. So if we wipe next week, then that's it. I might try again at some point down the road, but uh, yeah, that's what's up anyway. are starting to get a little tougher. Oh, we still have the diamond dots that uh, we found for Guy in our first run, so... He still gets to obliterate things. Poison, that's troubling. Dang. Here. 
Oh, we could start equipping some things on the on Guy. And he was a bit lower priority for the fact that uh, he has the diamond axe. What else does he need in the in the upper levels? And once we get lower down, that's another story. Magic fruit. I seem to recall seeing that like the ancient cave gives you a lot of magic fruit and that's like a lot of fruit in general. That's basically how it intends you to uh, upgrade the capsule monsters. Let's, uh, let's try it now. That was eight points. Vice pliers, thanks for giving me a weapon for someone who isn't here. It's an X boomerang. It is no longer a boomerang. Heal guy. Uh, he's been poisoned for a while now and I have no way of getting rid of it. Is that it for this floor? It is. I'm probably gonna miss things and that's okay. We got a monster zoo. It's still kind of hilarious, like everyone else doing pea shooter damage basically. And guy just. Whammon. That's the word I went with apparently. Whammon. Definitely need to heal up guy though. Now the one disadvantage of uh, of having the uh, the quick skip button that I set up is like if you happen to like get equipment from a fight, you might not notice. Or items for that matter.
Oh, I I understand, Donut. This uh, the rest of the stream is gonna be very uh, is gonna be very boring. It's okay if you don't want to stick around. Uh, if, if it's your kids, though, I suppose that's that's a different story. They're not gonna be entertained by my stream either. But uh, thanks for dropping by, Donut. Let's see. Just checking to make sure I haven't, like, gotten a, uh, an antidote that I haven't noticed. They need too many things. It's like one of those clicker games. You, you, start, you start getting, like, you start making your clicks and then you get kids and then those kids need clicks too and then you have, you're clicking on everything and even though you got some idle systems going on, you still gotta keep clicking all the time. But go ahead and go click on your kids. Good, aren't I getting three years? Click it or take it, please. Click it or take it. For that matter, drive hammered, get nailed. That was another one. Oh jeez. J-pop with the uru. This is a fucking furry now. To which I say, welcome to the club. Your niece is asking me to pick her favorite child. Oh, jeez. Why does everyone gotta play favorites all the time? You don't have a son, and if you do, you've been hiding it really well. Oh, we got an antidote. Finally. Just immediately use it on the wrong character. I should hope you loved your kids. It'd be a problem if you didn't. I mean, J pop, that's starting to get weird.
of the first one, next one to talk to me or ask me for something is getting disqualified. Well, I mean, I, I don't qualify in the first place because I'm not your kid. But can I have a cookie? And donuts are good too. And donuts for everyone. It's all good, Tim Hortons. Oh geez. Incoming mix. package. A chair knows where. But of course, the answer to this puzzle is stab the chair. Wait, that's not where the cookie is hidden. In the house of Abraxas? Zero probably knows what I'm talking about. You might know what I'm talking about. He's the most likely to know. Remember kids, mimics can hang out near walls. The real chess don't do that. Don't be a mimic. A message from Concerned Children's Advertisers. Your ears got blasted out by something else? Hope you got replacements. Killed with a hit for three. As you're, I was, ma I was making a uh, reference to um, Uninvited. Red rubies. All right, good night, Jonah. Oh dear. We're being chased. I don't think we're getting out of this one. So uh, make it so that people aren't almost dead at the very least. That's the nice thing with um, with blue mimics is they don't move. So like you have plenty of time to realize that it's a mimic and just not approach it. There's nothing else on this floor. But we'll be moving on after this one.
don't think the short sword is uh, an upgrade for anyone. Man, two hits on this guy and still, still alive. Three hits and still alive. All right, well let's make sure that you're dead. The guy, do the thing. There you go. Frying pan, woo! Frying pan, frying pan, mother pan. There we go. Some heels and I'll sell them. Literally the entire floor. And guys poisoned again, great. Actually, I would have preferred heals on guys. Don't have uh we don't have any more antidotes, so really use detox. Guys, poison gives Sullen an internet stat. Yes, that is absolutely correct. I am a genius. There's an antidote. Quickly. Oh no. Well, at least it doesn't spend it. It, it absolutely would if it was during the fight.
bloody sword. Oh no, there was a goblin in this bush. I'm pretty sure that the goblin was next to... Silence! There was a goblin here. We've defeated the hidden goblin. End of story. Moving on. That would have been hilarious if the uh, hit for one would have got it. Etherwick. I need to, rec to recall getting this in my non canonical one as well. Yeah? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. So I think sounds good. I mean, Guy is still the big heavy hitter, but like, Selen is also going to wreck face. I think that was an upgrade that I just dropped a bit, so... Oh, actually, our tech can use its own stuff. Jet Hill. And now everyone has a headpiece. Older Pierre, I think we already had one of those. Let me double check to make sure. Yeah, Max and I would be good. Uh, we don't have Hydra. I don't know how often that uh, that changes. 
Like, is it every fight? Is it every, like, few fights? First spell, Fireball. Got some free experience here. Oh, well, one of them stick, stuck around, so... We'll get everyone a level. have a um, an antidote in reserve. So the way I understand it, there is a bug in uh, an ancient cave where like after the first ten floors it fails to adjust the level of equipment in red chests. So you just kind of end up getting the same cra crappy equipment all the time. Oh, we have a spider here. We don't have a sound. This is power of fake magic. But, but yeah, like, after the first 10 levels, like, the equipment doesn't really get any better. At least is my understanding. I know that the Archipelago, um, version of Ancient Cave fixes that. I think Fruit Trilogizer does too. A Fruit Lufia does, I mean, Fruit Trilogizer by extension. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find any better whips right now, at least not in red chests. Full health. Guy didn't attack last. Fascinating. Against these guys, I should probably have a uh, song cast fireball on the wooden ones.
Because like half my party can't hit this. Entire floor. That sure is. Fire dagger. Very fast Chinese. I got something there. I think it was a magic jar. Actually, how is everyone's health? I should probably heal. I'll do for now. unlikely that, you know, four out of four would run away. Let's make that eight out of eight. Wow. Okay. I do wonder though which which one of our party is going to be the first to die and become uneven Steven. By which I mean the first one who's uh, going to not level up at the same time as everyone else. I think that's everything. Hi, Boomerang.
Gronk, Gronk. Sorry if I'm not saying much, I'm mostly just kind of zoning out here. And the engine cave is a grind, yeah. There's a reason why I moved over to the Open Comms channel, even though I have my doubts anyone's going to actually show up. to be confused with Canadian cryptid the blue sky. Actually I don't know if it's the blue cap or if it's just blue cap. And I also am not sure if they're cryptid. Maybe I should just shut up before I embarrass myself with any further. Hoping to get a back attack right there, and I get it. that I was gonna start uh, using the left wall maneuver. Sources, let's be real.
hard gloves. A bit of uh, shuffling around of the uh, equipment there. It's always fun when you see one of them just start to run away. And it's like, yeah, that that is a real good way for me to be able to quote unquote sneak up behind you. Because it's not really sneaking, like they clearly know that I'm coming and they're trying to get away from me because they, they know they're going to die. And then they die. And we feel no remorse for that because we're the hero. And that's the floor. skeleton guys for as little as they move they sure know how to like move at the exact right time so they don't get snuck up on is an upgrade for our tail. We don't have a regular whip. Yeah, it looks like no. It's like the, the one thing that I don't know about the um, the capsule monster display is um, whether the item will flash if you have it. But I know it does in the uh, in the actual like the capsule monster subscreen. Okay, so I think uh, I think the um, the craving changes every fight, possibly. And like that would make sense if it changed every fight, because like that that would make the most sense for like why do they even have that that feature to begin with they can just see like on the, me the main menu screen Peace might call it the Silver EP.
think that's it for this one. I feel like there's something I haven't seen. Aha! There is something I haven't seen. Was it worth it? Eh, yeah. I'd call that worth it. This was the wrong way. Nice, Kurt. I think the routing on that mushroom kind of got screwed up there. Is that the entire floor? Oh, short floor. And these are warp reviews.
There's a version. I don't know if it's the, the... I don't know if it's this version that we're dealing with. But there's a version of those pumpkin dudes called Mad Pumpkins. Except they're only called Mad Pumpkins in uh, Food Trilogizer. In the original, they're called Mad Head. I'm sure you can imagine why they changed it. Attention to how much, uh... Okay, three away. Pretty good, pretty good. Not, like, mind-blowing like some of... some of our, uh, party who have gotten blue chests with, like, top-tier gear. But, uh... Can't cough at 300 sun attack power right now. Another small floor. We've made it, guys. We're a fifth of the way there. Yeah, these are just pumpkin head. So, like, the upgraded version is called, in this version, Mad Pumpkin. But I see why they would have gone with the other thing. Also, that was a big hit. A bit concerning, perhaps. I'm gonna make it through. But that could definitely have gone a lot worse. I could really use, uh, it'd be real nice if we, if we could find stronger right now. Also, two of these friggin' swords in a way that I can't possibly avoid them. Okay, there's only one in this party, that's good. We get a killer sword weapon out of that. Everyone just bunching up by that door, that's great. something. So obviously that killer sword is cursed. I mean, we, we all know this. Uh, it's not even that good anyway, so what even is the point to, uh... I, I was going to try to equip it and be like, hey, if I use this, uh, this curse remover, like, does it just remove the equipment, or does it remove the curse, and then I can just use the sword? Ugh. 
Yeah, things are definitely start starting to hit a lot harder now. Maxim's still alive. out the big stuff here. I got three of you this time. Ugh. I think the time of uneven Steven is, uh, is looming upon us at this point. Unless we find, uh, stronger, stronger. No kidding, Zero. Like, the, the only real thing that I can do is have the, uh, have the, the light element capsule monster out. And, like, if they feel like healing the party, then they'll do that, but, like, and there was nothing here anyway, great. Well, there's Ice Valkyrie. Safety first? What? Nobody can equip this. What even is the point? The helmet worn to protect the head of construction sites. Well, consider yourself one of the lucky 10,000. Yeah, Lexus seems like the most likely. Yeah, the only way that you can have Tia in the Ancient Cave is um, with the randomizer. Otherwise, like, maybe if you use some, uh, like, Game Genie shenanigans. is of course guaranteed to be in the party because yeah, you don't have this game without Maxim. 
and uh, I think is Selen guaranteed to be in party as well? I think Guy is. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, there is a moment where Guy leaves the party, so you can possibly get here without Guy. Okay, buddy. I don't agree with your shenanigans. There we go. And also got him first. There's my providence. I kind of remember those uh, those uh, walking suits of armor being incredibly dangerous. I didn't mean to defend, but if anyone is defending in the party, it may as well be Artea. I want to make sure to, to get the front line down first. And we've already been here, but we haven't been here. Not that I've been using Nier a whole lot. I feel like I used... Like I used Nier pretty strongly in the first game, and like basically not at all in the second. Really. Definitely the blob dudes. And I don't really have a whole lot that's going to be effective against the sand guys, though. Cause that was a crit for nothing. And uh, yeah, let's use my explosion. 
maybe didn't need to use an X potion, but uh, whatever. Oh, thanks for healing Maxim, who I just healed before. I, I guess the uh, I guess Foose is technically going to be the uneven Steven, but like I don't really count the capsule monster. But so far, like the actual party is still uh, is still on equal footing. I don't like to deal with you again. Thunder! Thunder! Thunder Axe! Like the, the capsule monster is always going to be just a little off anyway. A mace? A mace to the face will send you into space. So worried about fighting things. I'm a little worried. Just a little. I would like to, like, check to see if that bush looked any different, but, like, the only way to find out, uh, to find out if the bush looked any different is to know that there was something underneath it, and by the time that you know there's something underneath it, the bush is gone. I was different. Thing is, like, I don't know different how. Like, trying to give me a text description of how it visually looks different is probably not going to help. Trying to time this so that I end up, like, hitting it on the side is tricky. Alright, sounds good, Zero. Thank you. Picking up, uh, we're gonna be picking this up next week anyway, so there's still plenty of ancient cave left. Oh boy, guy is poisoned again. Why does it always die? Long sword. 
Not enough for you. And I just juked myself. He's the tank, living life on the front lines. Take one for the team, I'm sure that's a reference to something, and I don't know. Surprising. Oh, it's not, it's not a reference. We're, we're not in a, in a Darmok and Jalad of Tenarga situation. Something that I don't have. Living up on the front lines, taking him for the team. He's a tank. Retroactively make it a song that came out in the 1980s or 1990s. Make it the origin of like why we call the tank the tank in uh, MMOs. Three-way Lucia race? Who's Lucia? Damn auto cucumber. Looking a bit dicey. Oh, this wants a cap. I have a cap now. Um, It kind of annoys me that the use items, like, they, they sort amongst each other, but they don't, like, sort in a specific order. You still have to decide, like, the order that they show up in.
save this guy over there. Oh, I'm sure eventually we'll play Lufia 3. Like, I'm, I'm making an executive decision that Lufia 3 will not be the, the next request game played. If someone requests it, I am denying it. Also, if someone suggests it, I am denying it on the grounds that it is in my queue. <laughs> Plus Lufia 4? Sucks to be you. But if you request Lufia 1 again, there is a limited list of games that I would repeat. Lufia is not one of them. And usually if I repeat a game, then it's going to be like, because it was part of something. Like I repeated some of the Kirby games because I was doing uh, Kirby's All-Star Legend. Rockbreaker. Uh, you want a cap again? And I have a cap again. Do that. Want that for one million dollars? Well, I would have to say no, because like I, I kind of purposely make it a thing that. Um, Money has no buying power on my channel. If someone really wants to give me a million dollars and it's not Mr. Beast, go right ahead. But my as much money is for to have buying power. I mean, then if you really want to maximize your money's buying power, then you go to friggin' uh, what's it called? Aaron Sales and Lease. And there you can have mega buying power. I remember one of my call center jobs, I sometimes had to, to call one of those errands locations, like, just have to listen to their friggin' uh, hold message all the time. And one of them uh, just kept going on about mega buying power. And like, something that, that I've always wanted to do as a result is uh, go to an errands, just go in the door, throw up my arms and say, MEGA BUYING POWER! Awkward pause, and then leave. And never come back. Go off. 
Unfortunately, Fuchs is dead again. But uh, we officially still do not have an uneven steven. Will you do whatever bribery with this? Five bits? Oh. <laughs> well, if if the bribery you wanted was to frighten zero. Mission accomplished. Ah, uh, what is it that I wanted to do anyway? I don't even remember. Cool, that was a big hit. Oh, that was another big hit. Oh, I remember what I wanted to do, because I... I feel like for some reason one of my party members is uh, not on even terms for uh, for help, for uh, experience, which doesn't make sense. But yeah, they all are. Okay. I was gonna check the status screen until I got distracted. Got some of them running a little low on health, actually. I'm definitely gonna want to heal Maxim. I will add as an addendum to like, I'm only allowed to start a new run today. If for some reason uh, we end this session on a death. then I will allow myself to start a new session at the beginning of next stream. But then I can't start another one after that. And that uh, might end up happening with these enemies, holy crap. And uh, they're kind of uh, running through our uh, items here. Unless this chest has a strong or stronger. Well, that was definitely neither of those. Uncle B! don't want to use an X potion. Oh, that's a regular potion. You know what? I haven't checked my IP moves. I should probably do that. Oh, no, that's paralysis. That's uh, current target only, I think? No, it's uh... Okay, so we do have that. Uh, fake and false. Of course, it's gonna be contingent on Selen actually getting her turn. Expensive either. Like the main problem is that selling's kind of slow. 
So like she she might not end up getting her turn. Like I am going to have to use uh, some item here. A spend a revive. Coat is great for the cave. A very nice coat you have there. Great defense, buddy. Fair end. And that's this floor. Silver EP. That's a full party. I don't feel good about this. I'll tell you what, if I'm if I decide at the end of the stream and it is coming up that um, I am feeling like this is not going to be the run at all, then I might decide to you know, use my providence to get out and come back with the, uh, the blue chest stuff that I've gotten so far. And these all look the same, I'm pretty sure they don't have healing fountains there. I'm looking for differences. These all look the same to me. We, we did get at least one really good piece, the, the width that Solon has right now. And I can also choose, like, if I if I don't use my providence now, I can use it at the beginning of this. I know I keep giving myself additional rules, but like, the point is, if we, like, if I make any amount of progress in Ancient Cave next stream then I cannot restart the run. Luck Blade. So it's kind of like in Pinball, where um, like if you manage to, to drain the ball without doing anything on the table, in pretty much any modern Pinball you're going to get another try. I 
leaves the option open for you to decide a week from now when you start. Yeah, that's, that's basically the idea. Oh, I didn't realize Artea could uh, wield the silver pay. I kind of wish that you could use higher points uh, outside of battle, though. <laughs> uh, looking at the time, I think this is going to be the last one. Okay, now, now that Artea has the Silver Epe as well, I'm feeling a little better about it at the moment. for Maxim. Here. I think that's pretty much it for this floor. All right, so with that, I'm putting a save state right here. Making another one for good measure. We're gonna call it a night. So thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you to uh, Zero, J-Pop, Tyrion, and Donut for hanging out. The next scheduled stream is gonna be on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. Where we're gonna do some more Archipelago shenanigans. And I still plan on playing yet another new game. Um, we'll see if it's a good idea or not, but, uh, that's what I'm doing. And, uh, that takes us around the week, round the wheel, for our next long-run stream next Tuesday at 9 p.m. or later. 9 p.m. or later? No, 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. And we're gonna continue this run of Lufia 2's and go as much as we can without dying, and, um... If we end up dying, then, I don't know, I'll figure something out. <laughs> Thank you for the five bits and uh, scaring your brother again. And of course, thank you again, Zier, for your 200 bits. A uh, much more significant number than five. Uh, but yeah, I'll do it. 
Thank you for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.